G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. It's a bit crooked, right? Let me fix it. So in this video, I got a message from Alison. So can you show a video on how to use a dry shampoo? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you can also see I've got the locked hair spray, the Paul Mitchell serum, and the Paul Mitchell root boost. And this is my model. This is my wife, Susan. So before I even start blow drying her hair, I'm going to take the number two guard. I'm just going to clean it all up on the sides, make sure it's nice and short. I'm not giving her a full on haircut. We just want to clean it up before I blow dry it. Okay, now that I've washed it, what I'm going to start off with is the daily extra body root boost and I'm just going to spray it directly into the root area on the top of the hair where I want the body to be. So I use this a little bit on my clients but I really do like the product. I'm combing it through just a little bit to make sure it's saturated. And then to finish I just grab the serum and I just put it through the ends just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Aquage round brush. It's a boar bristle brush. I absolutely love this. So I just section off that back section and the way I start is I start pushing the hair against the way it grows. So it gives the hair a little bit more body. So you can see here I'm sort of pushing it in the opposite direction of the way it would normally fall. So now after I do that you can see I'm blow drying it in the other direction. I'm just going to grab it and smooth it out just a little bit with the brush. So something that's really important, you can see here when I take the section, I'm over directing it forward because I want to get quite a bit of lift in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn her on the other side. Um, you can see I'm working all the way from the back to the front, pushing it up, trying to over direct it forward to get quite a bit of lift from the root area. You know something I hear all the time is the client can't get it to look the same way the, when they get home and it really is just practice. Product makes a big difference but you can see here how I'm over directing it. It's very important to know what look you're going for and how to achieve it. Okay, now that we've nearly got to the front, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a little bit more product in the front, but then I'm going to over direct it as I'm drying it. And I'm going to use my fingers quite a bit here just to lift it up. Okay, so now we're going to start layering some product. The locked hairspray, I love this hairspray, it's a matte finish. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the hairdryer to just give it a light mist. So I'm spraying it above the head, but I'm using the hairdryer just to lightly blow it so it just covers the top of the head. I don't want to put too much of this on because we're going to layer it as well with another product. Okay, the reason why I'm going to layer it, I'm going to use the dust. I know it's a dry shampoo, but the hair's really clean. And this is going to give it that gritty feel and that nice texture. So you can see I'm spraying it on the root area underneath the lock spray that I've already put on. But I'm also messing it up with my hands just to separate it, to give it that little bit of grittiness or that bit of volume that we really want to see under there. And it makes it just a really cool finish. I love the working with these two products. Products. And obviously I'm going to say I'm really happy with it because I did it, but I really do love this look. I think this is one of my favourite haircuts that she's had. I love it short underneath and on the sides and it gives it a really cool sort of look. But I really hope you've liked this video. And if you have, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below.